hopefully we can continue that trend and help get more churches involved and, and really give a good representation of, of Dallas. I think the youth that we're sending are extremely special and extremely wonderful and will be great, great models for us. Um, Paul is also attending. He will be one of the chaperones along with Casey Show, who's the director of Transfiguration. Uh, we'll be traveling with the Diocese of Alaska, who is gonna fly here um, and travel up there with us for some friends of ours as well. Anything else you wanna say about EYE? I don't know why this, I don't know what the little black space is there on it. I tried so many times to save it, and for some reason it didn't work. But this year's at VBS theme um, is, not on there, uh, <laughs> It is created by God, built for a purpose. And it's this kind of um, idea of the, like the maker's world that, that's really big, especially in the schools right now. Um, there'll be an emphasis on creativity, for sure, in this. Uh, dinner, activities, songs, snacks, tons of fun. It's gonna be from July 17th to 21st. We moved the date this year. Um, typically it's been held right after school got out, which seemed to be just a really busy time. A really busy time, a really busy time for preparations for, for the people and volunteers involved who are um, really committed to, to other things in their lives and kind of finishing up school years and other activities. So we changed the date this year to have it kind of in the middle of summer, which I think will work out well for us. Um, so that'll be the week after the school youth event. Uh, July 17th to 21st. It starts with dinner, then there's the children's programming and activities after that. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this year we're hoping to offer an adult program at the same time, a, a program for parents who bring their kids to VBS that want to stay and be a part of something, um, other adults that, that want to come and be a part of it. And we're, we're hoping to use that same theme, the theme about creativity and about purpose and do some programming um, in the upper building for adults during that same time. Um, we'll do some focus on wellness and creativity. It'll be um, a great time. I don't want to take away from the volunteers we need from VBS, but we want to be able to offer something, especially for our community people that come in to become, to be a part of VBS um, and maybe our Dinka community that is a part of VBS for us as well, to be able to offer some programming for adults during that. And Mission Texas. So this year we have seven youth and four adults. Um, we're using a different program, and I think I'm, I can't remember if I talked about it in this group before or not, but we're, um, we're doing our, our local, our Texas mission trip this year to San Augustine, Texas, with a program called Next Step Ministries. Uh, I met with the owner of Next Step Ministries, and I just really felt awesome about about his mission and, and what he had to say about, about mission trips. Um, one of the things I loved is that he immediately told me, he said, I started this nonprofit when I was 19 years old. I had a heart for mission and I, I wanted to do ministry and I started this nonprofit and we did really bad mission trips. And he said, you know, that's changed. We did, we went in places and we, we thought that we were doing good work and we came out of it feeling so good but we left nothing behind. And he was very open and honest and, um, and said, you know, we have worked so hard in, in the past years to make sure that that's not what we're doing, that we're doing relational ministry and we're doing things that last and that we're developing relationships. So one of the things I love about this, um, this program is that we go in and our group will be paired with a family for a week and we will be doing a project of some sort, uh, building a house, um, building a, a wheelchair ramp or fixing fixing things or, or helping them with some project um, to better their lives. And we really develop a, a relationship with that, that family or that group of families who, who we're working with. Um, we've had some wonderful mission trips the last couple of years. Definitely um, things where we would go one place and get to do something and go another place and get to do something and go another place. And I think there's some real benefit in learning about all those different things, but I'm really excited this year about being able to offer something that that 
we're really developing a relationship and really seeing a difference in, in somebody's life um, in working with them. So it's a great program. They have um, some really fun programming. It's, a, uh, it's an organization that works with lots and lots of different denominations and different churches and um, will be staying in a church and traveling out to, to work sites. And um, I just think, I think it's gonna be a really, a really neat experience. So that's the last week of July, first week of, of August um, that that's taking place. And I just wanted to note that um, Children's Chapel also for kids. Children's Chapel is does continue through the entire year, including the summer. Um, for those of you that are not familiar, it's a time during the 1015 worship service when children are invited to join the procession through the courtyard to the Children's Chapel where they do prayers, activities, and songs tailored just for them. They rejoin the service at the passing of the peace. So that continues through the summer, and children are always welcome to join in that as well. Oh, wait, what can I do to help? <laughs> like, maybe, maybe Don doesn't have kids that are the age to participate in this, or, or, um, you know, maybe Jane is saying like, oh, but my family really wants to do something. Like, what can we do? So I've made a list. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, one of my jobs is just trying to help, help organize and figure out what, um, where the needs are and, and what we can, what we can offer and what we can help with. And so, you know, spreading out the, spreading out the work. So I do have a list that I would really encourage you to look at. Um, I broke it down and I'll, I'll leave it out and we can just continue to, to visit and talk and, um, but just, a list of the different things. Some of the things that we need for Camp All Saints, we definitely have kids that are going to camp that could use sleeping bags, um, that don't have that in their house. Some of our Stoltz kids, um, some of our Dinka kids that are going as well, that could use sleeping bags. If that's something that, that you or your family could donate, um, I, there's just lots of things on here, some tra travel toiletries as well. But they're broken down according to the different, the different events. Um, there's things like, like three boxes of goldfish. Um, one of the things we definitely need for kids groups is snacks. <laughs> we always need snacks. Uh, we, we try to offer snacks at all of our events, partly also because we do, we do um, serve some of our population that is, is food insecure. And so we try to make sure that we have food available and snacks available or dinners at VBS. Um, so there are things available that I would really love you guys to to maybe just pass around if there's something on here. There's lots of little sign-up spaces. And I'm really good about um, emailing you and reminding you of what you signed up for. If you signed up for apples for VBS, I'll let you know that you signed up for apples for VBS um, when that comes around. So I would just encourage you to grab coffee. There's lots of food today. Grab food and just, um, if you wanna take a look at that, I'll just pass that around. But any questions? Anybody have any questions for me or about kids stuff? Attending VBS? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Thanks. Um, We're starting at age three or four, I think it is. Yeah, this year we also, um, we have, Stephen and I have talked and we are going to set up a nursery area. I think one of the problems that they've run into before is having um, such a huge age gap and, and really, really littles um, mixed in with the older kids sometimes has been a little harder to, to get things moving in the right direction. So we will have um, some volunteers just with the little kids as well and be doing a creativity program and, and similar programming, but for the, the really little ones that come. Um, I know some of our larger families, especially from our, our Dinka community, sometimes bring a lot of different ages at the same time. And so being able to offer something just for the little guys um, is on our list this year. So I think it goes through elementary school. Um, and then we'll have some of our older kids who are hopefully going to be some of our leaders as well and helping out with some of the, the programming. Any other questions? You have done an awesome job. Yay. <laughs> well, it's you guys that have really done an awesome job. I just get to help make a list. I, <laughs> I make a spreadsheet. You know, I read online that the name Emma and Noah are the two 
I just heard that this morning. I 